Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of composing and decomposing numbers. This is standard 3.2a in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 5 off the 2021 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have an expression shown here, 70 plus 2 plus 900. What number is equivalent to this expression? Let's make sure we understand what this means here. So an expression is like an equation. There's just no equal sign. So that's the only reason why we call it an, an expression rather than an equation. It's just a series of numbers, and you can even have operations, like we've got two different addition signs here but it doesn't equal anything, so it's not an equation. So that's why we call it an expression. And so what we need to do is we need to simplify this. We need to see what does this represent. And there's several different ways we can do this. Uh, one way would be to draw a picture. So it looks like this is almost expanded form, except they kind of did it in the wrong order. So if I wanted to do 70, I could do seven tens. Now I'm not doing tally marks. These are my tens rods right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a little bit of a space there. So I still like the chunks of five, but that's my 70 is my seven tens. And then I've got my plus two. So I'm just going to put two little dots right there. Then I've got my plus 900. Now those are going to be my hundreds flats, so I'm just going to draw them like this, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, and I'll use a second row to get my 600, 700, 800, 900. So we've got two ones, and then we've got nine hundreds. And what that lets me see is that this is like expanded form, it's just in a different order. So what if I were to make my own equation? What if I were to use the commutative property? So there's a property of addition that lets me change the order. Because this might be a little bit easier if I did actually make it look like the expanded form. So typically, our hundreds go first. So. Let's put it like that. Hundreds first, and then second is usually our tens. The commutative property lets me rearrange the order of items that are being added together or multiplied. Doesn't work with subtraction, doesn't work with division. 900 plus 70 plus 2. That makes a little bit more sense. That's an expanded form that I can look at and quite honestly if we wanted to we could just add it now i would suggest vertical addition we'll see it kind of lines up like stairs so you see zero zero and two zero and seven nine so it looks like our answer might be 972 let's see if that matches our picture here we've got 900s that's 900 we've got seven tens, yes, and two ones. So we've got 972. Now, how do we answer this? Because there is no A, B, or C. Well, it's going to be what we call gridable response or free response. So you're going to have three columns here. And then the top row, you're just going to hand draw in your numbers. So make sure you line it up correctly, 972. But that actually doesn't get you the correct answer. You have to bubble in the correct answers underneath. So these have bubbles from 0 all the way down to 9. So underneath the 9, you're going to have to hit that 9. That 7 is right around here. And then the 2 is right around here. What you'd need to do is just bubble these in. So it says 970. Make sure your bubbles are nice and neat. And then 2. And there's our answer, 900. 72.